Hey everybody, this is Craig Cottle, director of Nature Blind School, coming to you today for lesson number two, that's two, on camouflage. So last week we took the opportunity to look at color. Uh, go back and look at that lesson because these are in essence going to build upon one another and you need to make sure you understand that. Today what I want to look at is shapes. Okay. So one of the things that comes up a lot is a discussion of shapes when it comes to camouflage. So the first thing is I wanted to note was, let's take a look at this um, Marine Corps Marpat. You'll see the different shapes of black. Number one, if you remember from last week, uh, the black is something that's going to stand out in an environment such as this. Uh, and these are digitized patterns such that they are harder and more difficult to see through from what I understand, optics, night vision, stuff of that nature. So there's a reason for them, okay? But there's no shapes out here in this environment that are digitized and have little squares like that. So if I see a guy that's literally laid in the leaves like this, this might be good camouflage, but the shapes are gonna stand out to me. Uh, another thing that you can look at in this uh, Vietnam era tiger stripe, which is, all these are good camouflage, but we're gonna try to get to the point where you see some great camouflage is you see again all the black contrasted on the, the colors that are light green, OD green, or even tan. And I would also like to point out the shape of this band around the hat and the shape itself of the hat itself. All boonie hats are round and there's very few things in nature that are actually round. So as we get into something where somebody's laying down, if this is skylined or this or edge of the hat here is up against the backdrop of solid leaves, then it's going to stand out due to the shape of it. Again, uh, this is just real tree. It's got some three dimensional on there. The three dimension would be enhanced and help this hat a lot better if we took the brim of the hat and destroyed it, basically ripped it up, made it shredded, and made it look real rough. And we could also help by putting some leaf pattern or uh, jute or some of that nature on top of the hat so it's not rounded. Now, as far as patterns are concerned, um, I, you know, I made a pretty clear list last week in the color segment that this ATAX AU, the ATAX FG are what I consider superior patterns, okay, and shapes in particular. Because all the shapes don't, it's really difficult to look at this and see where one shape starts and another shape ends. They really blend well together. There's no real easy to spot shapes on here where it goes from one very dark color right into a light color. So that makes it difficult for it to be seen. Uh, you can imagine something such as this. You've got uh, a solid color, tan boonie hat, and this boonie hat up against anything is going to stand out. And I should have showed this last week when we were discussing color, but this is the, the ACU, the stuff that's blue. It's got a blue tint to it. Uh, my understanding from all the guys I've trained in the DLD is that the only time this stuff actually works is when it's dirty and nasty and hasn't been washed for weeks at a time. So it's just, it's stupid. It's a stupid shape, it's a stupid color. And multicam. Uh, multicam, again, is really close to the old woodland style camouflage. It's just some different coloration patterns. It does not have black, it has brown. I got rid of the black because of the color discussion that we had last week. But you'll still notice that the very dark brown colors contrast distinctly against the light tan. And so you've got any kind of colors like that that go from one to the other real quick like in, in close proximity, and it's gonna be easier for your eye to pick up those lines that we were talking about last week as well. So if you watched this last week, you knew there's probably gonna be some surprises, and there's two. Uh, one of them is so obvious, it's the blaze orange boonie hat that's behind me back there right next to the tree. Uh, I've got it sitting right on top of a log pretty easy to see and obviously the color that we discussed last week makes it easy to see but also the shape you can see the roundness of the boonie around the brown log and makes it easy to see now I, I took the same hat that I had hidden behind the mine clutter last week and I think we're going to get into detail about mine clutter and dead space and all that next week but um, I've got the ATAX FG hat right here on the end of this log now if we can see, if you see logs that come out here, you'll see a certain shape on them and your eye's okay with the roundness of that. But what happens right back here is that stops. The ATAX FG hat is sitting right on the roundness 
and it's more difficult to see. And I'm not saying you can't see it, I hope you can. But what we're running into right here is the fact that the shapes are destroyed, if you will, by the fact that I've got a lot of uh, three-dimensional material on it, as well as I just took one handful of leaves and just threw them on there. I didn't even try to hide the hat. I just kind of threw a pile of leaves on there for the sake of discussion. So if I take, let's say, the multicam hat, put it in the same spot, you can see it pretty regularly. And if we add the fact that that's the shape that you can see, you can see the shapes of that hat that stands out against the brown background of that log. Let's add in something as stupid as this ACU, which has similar shape and a terrible color on the same situation. And you can see that hat even worse or even better. So let's go back to the ATAX FG. It's not that you can't see it. It's just that it starts to blend in a lot more. One handful of leaves, two handfuls of leaves makes it even better so that you can't see it. So that's a couple of things on the way we like to look at shapes and patterns, if you will, in camouflage. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, then absolutely just put something in the comments below. And please consider subscribing to the channel so that we can continue doing what we're doing. We really appreciate everybody that comes on and part of our community. Hey, we're, for the most part, we're a troll-free community. We don't have a lot of trolls. And we appreciate all of you that come on and give us encouraging words. Always with Nature Reliance School. Come on, join in. Let's learn together.